Do you want to know why bugs and other pests are getting into your house even though it's been treated by you or a pest control company? I'll show you exactly what to look for in just a moment. What's up guys, Adam here with another video on how to better improve your house and property. If you're new to the channel or you just haven't gotten a chance to do so yet, do me a favor and please hit that red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my new videos that I have coming out very soon. And also if you find the content in this video to be helpful, please also hit that thumbs up button down below. It should be right in here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the main ways that bugs and pests may be getting into your house, even though you're treating it with pesticides or maybe you have a commercial company that comes out to your house and treats it for you. So I'm going to show you three of the most common entry points for bugs to be able to get in and also then methods to then keep them out of your house. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a fourth entry point that I've seen almost nobody else talk about, but it is a big hole that I think most of us have in our houses. And at least for me, I had a ton of bugs coming in through it. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. You're gonna to wanna to walk around your house and look for any possible entry points that aren't sealed. Check the seal around all exterior doors. If you can see light or feel air, then you better believe that the bugs can get in too. Ways that you can fix this is by installing bigger seals, adding seals that never existed, and possibly having to readjust the door itself as on installation, it may have been just installed improperly. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to, want to look for cracks in your foundation. Very small bugs like ants can easily use these to gain entry into your house. And the easy way to fix this is by adding a filler like caulk to the crack. But if you have a brick wall and have cracks in your joints, then I would use a mortar to fix those. If you have weep holes, they can definitely be letting in bugs and even mice, but definitely don't use caulk on these as the weep holes are there to allow moisture out from between the brick and your interior wall. And there are all kinds of meshes that you can buy to fill the weep holes, but still allow the house to breathe. Next, you're gonna to wanna to check all pipes and conduit running into the house. This includes AC electrical conduit, uh, PVC piping, and gas lines. Here we have the main gas line coming into the house and the caulk that was originally there has shrunk and left this wide open. So we're gonna take our caulk and refill it, which you can do with all the other possible entry points that I mentioned just a moment ago. So these are the three main ways that bugs and pests can be getting into your house and probably what most people look for if they know to look for anything at all. But if you know of another way bugs have gotten into your house and how you fixed it, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. All right, guys, so this fourth method that I'm going to tell you about is one that I'm actually really, really surprised that I didn't find any other videos about it. And I haven't really seen many people talking about it as something to look for. And it really surprised me because it's really where almost all of the bugs were coming from that were coming into my house. And I was getting bugs as big as wasps uh, getting into the house. And the way that they were getting in was through our bathroom exhaust vents. The way I found to seal this off is by unscrewing it and removing it from the soffit. Then I take regular patio screen that you can find at any home improvement store and cut it into the size needed to fit into the vent cover. Once that's cut, you can take a caulk gun and go around the whole perimeter of the vent cover and then press the screen down into the caulk. You can also use contact cement or even a hot glue gun. Then it's done and can be reinstalled. Oh, and a bonus tip. You can use the same exact method on your floor and ceiling vents for your AC, as they are also known to let plenty of bugs in. So these are some of the main ways that you can keep bugs and pests out of your house. Minus your family and in-laws, of course. 
All right, somebody can kill that bug. So if you found this video to be helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you know of anybody that could benefit from the information in this video or any of my other videos, please feel free to share it with them. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my new videos that I have coming out. I have a whole list of how-tos and tips and tricks videos coming out really soon. And I'll see you in the next video.